When I was 16, a lot of things started happening to me. I started passing out during cross country and I didn't know why. Um, my heart started racing and my chest was hurting really bad. Every time I would pass out, they would take me to the emergency room and they didn't know what was wrong. Dysautonomia is dysfunction of the autonomic nervous system and that's the part of the nervous system that controls all the automatic functions of the body. And that includes a number of things that we take for granted usually. It controls our heart function, in particular our heart rate, controls our blood pressure, it even controls our breathing to a certain degree. It has an effect on and controls our gastrointestinal system or our digestion. It controls our body temperature, our skin temperature, and it controls our hormonal function, our endocrine function, um, those things that just naturally keep the body going. More than one million Americans are affected by a primary dysfunction of the autonomic nervous system. A significant number of additional Americans are affected by secondary dysautonomia where there are other conditions that have autonomic nervous system function affected by those disorders. Shannon, how long did it take you to get the right diagnosis? Um, about six months. And how many doctors do you think you may have seen prior to that? I think when I counted it was about ten. We have the opportunity to bring together multiple disciplines in order to provide accurate diagnoses for our patients and provide care and treatment for our patients. Um, the various specialties that are involved include adult neurology, pediatric neurology. Um, we are privileged to have uh, cardiac electrophysiology involved in the Dysautonomia Center. Genetics is involved in helping us to uncover the why, and that's, that's something that, that I think is very important in these patients. The goal of the Dysautonomia Center is to provide all aspects of care that are needed for the patients with dysautonomia and to help their families because this is not just a disease or a diagnosis that affects the patient. When I started going to Dr. Dodson, she recommended physical therapy and that helped me a lot. Therapists are, are trained to take care of patients that have dysautonomia, mm -hmm. and so they start the patient at a level of exercise that some people wouldn't even think was exercise, uh, but that's what the so. patient can do, right, Shannon? Yeah. Um, that's what they're able to do at that point, and they work specifically on strengthening certain muscles and, and developing certain abilities so that the patient can move to the next levels. First, I just mostly did stretches and a little bit of weight and I like slowly went up to a bike and I would go just, like for five minutes and then 10 minutes. The Aurora Dysautonomia Center plays a very important role here in the state of Wisconsin. We're one of two centers for treatment and diagnosis of dysautonomia in the state. The autonomic laboratory that's based at the Aurora Medical Center in Grafton is an integral part of the Dysautonomia Center. Um, it is a place where we can objectively identify that there is dysfunction of the autonomic nervous system. We also tilt patients, we have a tilt table and during that time the patient's blood pressure and heart rate are continuously monitored. When all this began, my parents were really scared to let me do things with my friends, to go swimming, to just do normal teenage stuff. And now I can drive because before I couldn't drive for a certain amount of months after I'd pass out. Um, I went to college, I have a job, I can do pretty much anything that everyone else can do that doesn't have this condition. Finding doctors that specialize in dysautonomia means that I can have my life back. You know, that's what this is all about. You know, the, the goal of the Dysautonomia Center is to allow patients to get their lives back. Um, that's what I live for. That's what makes this worthwhile.